Hey everybody, what's up yo? Okay, this is the tutorial for Daenerys. This is a beautiful bracelet created by Jazz's Loons. Of course, I am so in love with it. I'm actually, this is going to be my third already. I mean another one. Um, and this one is the first one I made with the purple beads. Beautiful, super beautiful. And of course, the I have one more. Ta-da! Now that I love. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I'm so in love with this design. I think it's beautiful and you can play around with it so much. I did with the beats and the button. That's a button actually inside the band. Yeah, so it's beautiful right there. Okay, so you can play around with ideas for this. And so I suggest you doing whatever you wish to use. But the original design doesn't have beats and you don't have to. You can actually do it without beats. So it really is up to you. Here's the other one, and for this one, I'm going to be playing around some more. I'll be using a variation of bands for this next design, which I will post after I make it. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, for the border, I will be using the gold and the glitter white. So that's the gold is here. Wait, no, let me use this as an example. The gold will be the white part, okay, then the glitter bands will be the silver part. You see okay then the white from the mixed mix metallic will be my folded bands they will be the ones here okay right up that side or you can actually no, actually wait let me see ah uh, yeah no I will use my Persian brown instead for that and then the white will be this um, those gold that you see are going that way and then the silver will be the ones connected to the bead the silk blue that you see right there that's the silver okay so let's start the first thing that you need to do is to create a 10 um <coughs> 10 band uh combination on your hook so the first thing is to get a cap band oh well my memory ran out <laughs> i think anyway so the first thing that you need to do is to get that that cap band on there and then loop it on your first lock band okay now we will be adding three bands per side three each so the first thing is two golds two golds okay and one glitter band on each side like that there that's how it looks okay so that's what we'll start with so you remove the first band and get that cap band and then add the first gold one and then you'll pick up this first band right here and close it you add your second gold and do the two bands and pick up this first one again and lastly get your glitter band excuse me and then unloop and close ta-da okay then you go to the other side okay you remove this first one again capture the other piece of the cap band then get your first gold for this side this time get that and loop and pick up this one band and close get your second gold and loop the two bands and pick up this last one next get your glitter band the third band and then pick up the last one so that's three bands per side there, 10, 4, first, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. See, 10 bands all together. Okay? Next, you will get the band that goes under these two. Okay? Those are the curls, these ones. Okay? The curl. Those will be my brown one per side 
followed by these yellow bands that you see the ones that go there so these folded bands are the brown and then these yellow bands will be white forming again right there one each okay and just so that we finish the pattern the last one will be your glitter band the center band there you go that is your pattern so how to add these two browns you get your first brown this is again the style I learned from Lucy you get this brown and just put it right here okay just let it go down right in front of those two golds and then these two golds you will place on top of that brown see then you just push it down and it's right there okay now comes the tricky part listen carefully you will remove these first two okay and then pull this carefully and unloop it just like that okay and then you close again so what you have on that side now are six bands you have the two here and the four that are wrapped in that brown we will now add the next color which is the white this one so you don't add two you add this one first and then this one and then go to the other side add this one and this one so you get your cylindric white okay then i will loop all six one two three four five and six and then you will skip okay no to make it easier you will reclaim the first four bands one two three and four so you go and reclaim the four bands like this see first two and then now wait you know what instead of reclaiming all four just just reclaim those two first and then to make it easier which is what i've been doing all afternoon is to just remove these two and just let the white go up again on its own just let it go back there and then close it see much easier i think there so now let's go to the other side now if you had a hard time with that here's another way to do it you get the brown Remove the first three, these three. You can remove those three with this brown. So just hold them together with your brown and remove them. Then you will unloop the two bands on your brown. But then you will reclaim them again. Okay, reclaim it. And then close. see that's another way to do it then you will remove the first two again and fold that brown this one fold it out and then you close see and then now we add the cylindric white to these four not to the to under the two no wait yeah under the two so you, you can remove these also with your white remove the first two and then unloop the four bands one two three and four and then just reclaim the first two there and then you close Ta -da! we're almost done with the sequence Okay, so this is the last band to add, which is the center band. So, it may seem a little bit complicated in the beginning, but I think if you get used to it, you'll definitely get a knack. Easy. Okay. So, my first beaded band. Thank okay, you. What I do 
I simply split it into two when it's beaded and then I hold this. I lift the bands where I will be placing the band under like this, those two and then so what will happen is I'll explain it so that you don't get confused. This band is supposed to go under these four just so you know what I'm trying to do under these four okay the four bands in the middle so this is supposed to go there why are you zooming out there okay so I will just get these two lift them and have my band go under it like so see there that's how I mean that's how I want it and now, so that I can get it in the other side, I will remove all of these bands with this band. So I will remove everything. Like that. And unloop the next two. Also from the four. Right there. And now, you will reclaim the two bands closest to the bead, which are these two. The whites. So reclaim that one. And the other one. Like that. And then close like that <laughs> gets a bit tight but you'll get used to it there mm -hmm. let me see if that correct I think this is supposed to be on top of that yeah because when we unloop it's one, three, six. Okay, yeah. Sorry, I was trying to figure out if I had one band that slipped the other way. Okay, so that is the complete se sequence. We are now going back to step one, which are the three bands per side. So you start with two golds again and one glitter. Two golds again and one glitter on the other side. Okay, so let's start again. You unloop. The six. Two, four, six bands, yeah. You can loop those six, two, four, six. And then you will reclaim one, three, and five, okay? Bands number one. Oops, don't go there. One, three, and five. So that'll be the silver. the white and the glitter see and then you close Ta -da! next you will get your other gold band and unloop the four bands one two three and four and then reclaim the fourth which is the silver so just this fourth band and then you close and lastly we add another glitter and unloop these three bands then just pick up the last one and close Ta -da! see then we repeat that on the other side once again the first gold band and loop the six two four and six there and then reclaim one three and five that's going to be five three and one and then you close Ta -da! There you go. And then one last band, which is the silver. Oh no, no, sorry. The gold. Again, the second gold. One, two, three, and four. And then you will pick up the silver again. And then close it. And lastly, one glitter band. And loop the three bands and just pick up the first one. And then close. And that's what you have.
it's very pretty. Wow. Even I am pleased with that. <laughs> okay. The next step is to add your browns again. Brown and white, brown and white. So that's two bands per side. So once again, you get your brown. I'm going to do it because I'm going to be so used to it already. You just push out those three and then place the Egyptian in the middle. Just let it there, sit there. Okay. And then you switch the two golds over it. And you just let that Egyptian band slide under like that. Okay, then you push to the end and remove the first two. And you unfold the Egyptian band and close. And then you get your cylindric white and loop all six and then you will pick up those the second and third band zooming up let me fix the zoom there you go so one two three and four so the third and fourth band pick them up okay then release this white from the golden glitter put it back on the hook and then close that's close up if you can, still can see that i don't know what to do <laughs> it's so hard to fail on tight bracelets okay now we go to the other side here we go so you get the brown again Let her sit on here. And let's switch the gold over. Two golds. So that that brown will slide under. And one more. Let the brown slide under. There you go. So since the brown is in place, we push to the end again and remove the first two. And now you unfold that brown. And then you close. And once again, you will get your cylindric white. You can just remove these so that it's easier. And then unloop the four bands. One, two. Three and four. There we go. And then pick up those two first two the brown and silver brown and glitter and then you close see Ta -da! just trying to fix it okay later on when we're done you will see how beautiful this is okay so I will remove this now because it's messing up with my zoom but I know you finally got it okay so Let's get it out of the way because I think the zoom is getting confused. It's like, where am I gonna go, girl? Where am I gonna go, boy? It's so confusing, mate. So used to saying, I can't go, girl, because I was seeing movies. They're so cool. There we go. So, we are gonna go and get the next beaded band and place it under these four again. Okay? So, the next beaded band. You just simply lift these two and slip the band under just like that. I encourage you to place beads because the beads are fantastic for this design. So now we remove it all and get those two bands on there. And once again, you will pick up the two middle bands. One. And. Two. And then you put everything back. Okay. And then we start again. We start with your cold bands again. 
okay so we'll do it one last time before I move on and finish the hood bracelet before I show you the closing so once again you will add three bands on the left side two golds and one glitter we start with the gold one two three four five and six and you will pick up one three and five that's band number five band number three and band number one and the one you're holding you will get your next gold and I loop these four one two three and four and then you will pick up reclaim band number four like that and the first one and close and lastly you get another glitter white and loop the two and three so three bands pick up this last one and close that's what you have and then we move on to the other side so three bands two golds and one glitter first gold and loop the six bands And then pick up one three and five five three and one and then close and then get the next gold and then loop the four four bands and pick up number four and last but not the least you get your glitter band and then loop the three and pick up the first band okay La -la! and then you will now get your two browns again so you move these three and then you place that gold right there and loop and uh, not on loop but transfer those two on top and you have the gold right there then you remove the first two again and unfold the gold and close then get your cylindrical white remove the first two with your white and unloop these four and pick up the two and close and then we go to the other side other other side get your brown again move two golds on top of that brown pull the brown on that like that and then you remove the first two and you fold out and close and then you get your cylindric white remove the first two and then loop the four bands and pick up the first two and close Ta -da -da. Okay. Then we now add the beaded band again under these four. Okay. So the next beaded band is a really nice different band with different beat. So I just simply go and place it under here. The two middle bands so I can pull it to the other side let me sorry I'm moving out of the camera it's so difficult because I want to show it to you but I can't help but have my hands cover it 
but I'll show you her end result and that is trying to get them two bands on top of the silver okay and then we will remove all of them all five bands and then unloop the two and pick up the two closest to the bead and then close okay so basically that's it you just have to keep going back to step one after that okay so I will finish this off camera and I will be back to show you how to close it okay I'll see you in a while bye so I have finally completed all the beads ha. and I even placed a really nice button on it too so <laughs> I can't wait to post this this is gonna be gorgeous so you can see I played around with beads here and I love the result so anyway we are now going to end the bracelet so once you reach that last end of the bead you will just add the six bands again so that you have that to end with okay so the next thing that you need to do is to get a border band which is your gold and you unloop all of this other half okay and then you pick up that glitter in the middle and close it just like that okay and I'm just picking the because well you can actually pick that up or if you want it a little bit more organized you can get the other one like there there okay then you go to the other side Okay, and get another border band and just unloop the other half, the other half, and get that last one and close. See? And then, once you're done, just get the last two bands to lock it, all of it. So that's going to be one, two. three four okay five and six and then close there you go see Ta -ta! it's completed it's gorgeous this is gonna look so good on camera okay so there you have it ladies and gentlemen the beautiful Daenerys bracelet created by my amazing friend Jazz as Looms okay so when you make the bracelet please don't forget the hashtag Chase Alvarez Daenerys bracelet and Jazz as Looms because we would love to see you make this it's gorgeous please make it I can't wait to see your renditions I'll see you in my next tutorial bye